Hi everyone, it's Thursday again, and so we're coming to you live from Freedom Makers Virtual Assistant Services. I'm Laura, uh, the founder of Freedom Makers, and today we're gonna talk about priorities. And this came about because one of our clients shared with us a wonderful insight about how we need to um, prioritize our life and our business. And I think especially as small business owners, um, sometimes it's very easy to lose sight of what our priorities should be and we, um, because we're so focused on our business. And so this came about, or, or you know, it got me thinking, um, earlier this week I went for a run um, and some of my girlfriends, they were running as well and we all met up for coffee afterward. And the, the conversation came up about um, mental health and physical fitness. And I was, uh, one of us was saying how, um, or a couple of us actually were talking about how we've noticed there's a direct correlation between our physical fitness and our mental health. And if we stop working out, then we notice that our mental health starts to deteriorate. And because of that, I was saying that because I've noticed that connection, um, I now make it a priority to actually dedicate um, money to um, physical fitness, meaning um, signing up for races. I do triathlon, so making sure I'm signing up for, for them. Um, and, and dedicating money to that so that I do train for them. Um, and also, you know, now we're heading into, um, we're going to be doing our last race here in a month exactly. And then we'll go into the off season and what my plans were for different gym memberships or classes or things like that. Um, and, and talking about how expensive they are, but I really wanted to make sure that I did in fact dedicate resources toward those classes because I've recognized the correlation between mental health and physical fitness. And then a friend of mine um, tell, talks about how he likes to go to church on Sundays because he sees spiritual health as a part of whole health as well. So now we're talking about mental health, we're talking about spiritual health, physical health, and then and that all comes together for this whole um, holistic health idea. And so I just wanted to share that with you because I feel like um, oftentimes as, as business owners, we get caught up in, I got to take care of this, I got to take care of that. And, and the next thing you know, you're working 12, 15 hour days, and that's all you're focusing on. Um, so you're not eating well, you're not spending time with your family, you're not spending time with yourself, um, you're not um, doing things for your spiritual health, or your mental health, or your physical health, and you're all focused on your business. So just wanted to, especially as we start heading into the school years, uh, some regions are starting school now others have a few weeks before they start but with shifting constantly shifting um uh, requirements on our time just wanted to throw a little um, shout out there to remind you about staying focused on your priorities and one of those priorities should be your whole health and what does that mean for you and how are you going to achieve your mental your spiritual and your physical health in order to achieve to have that whole health um, which as a result will benefit your business your life and your family most importantly your life right because if you don't have that you don't have your family you don't have your business so that's our tidbit for today what are your priorities think about that make sure you're including your health and your life in that whatever that means for you and and wishing you the best and feel free to share in the comments and we will chat next week. Thanks. Bye.